Hi, and welcome to the Hudson Forward Rideshare Program, where Hudson volunteers give rides to Columbia Green Community College students who need transportation between the city and the college. You've received a welcome letter. This is a short video tutorial that goes along with it that helps you understand how the program works. There are two things that make this program work. The first is consistency. Drivers and riders need to be prepared to meet each other on a set weekly schedule on time at a set location for the semester. Otherwise, both parties are unsure what to expect. The second is communication, where if there is a change, they know how to reach each other and program organizers are in the loop so that if anyone needs our help, we know what's up. Ultimately, what we want to avoid is this. As a matter of housekeeping, we want you to know that at the college, the pickup and drop off point is always at the admin entrance. You see it more clearly here on this campus map. It's the main building also where uh, you'll see reception and admissions closest to lot J. Now to get you started, we need some information. You can find this in your welcome packet. Simply copy and paste it into an email addressed to rides at hudsonforward.org. If you are a rider, we need to know your name, address, email, phone. Tell us if you can text as well as email. We're just trying to find out the best way to communicate with you. And then your present college schedule so that we can find suitable rides. If you're a driver, we also need name, address, email, phone. We need to know if we can share your email and your phone number with your riders so that they can contact you with any changes. Tell us also if you can text and or email in order to communicate and then your present availability so that we can match you with riders. Once that's filled out, you can send it to us at rides at hudsonforward.org. Once we get your information, we'll load it into groupcarpool.com, a site we're using to keep the program smoothly coordinated. Again, we'll load all this information for you. You don't need to worry about that. We do ask that you use the website for two things. One is to simply stay up to date on the schedule. It does rely on email notifications, so if there are changes, you are automatically notified. But it's just good to have the link saved so that you can take a look and make sure that you are completely up to date. In this case, I've got myself down for a ride Mondays, 8 o'clock, and I can go into the website, let's say Sunday, just to make sure everything's looking good. You don't have to, it's just a good idea. If there are any changes, let's say I'm a driver and I can no longer make it, I should contact my riders, but the most important thing for me to do is to delete this, the ride, on the site to make sure that the organizers are notified and that all the riders are notified. Again, we discourage that type of change because it can leave people in the lurch, but if uh, it does happen, please use the site to make that change. If I'm a passenger and I can no longer make the ride, the same rules of courtesy apply. I should notify the driver, but I should also delete it on the web page, triggering a notification to both my driver and the program organizers. It just keeps everything clear and makes sure that there are no misconnections. If you are a student looking for a ride and there are none listed or none offered on this page, we will add you to the waitlist. If you like, you can also do the same. And all you have to do is say your name, the day of the week that you're looking for a ride, and then some information on where you need to be picked up. So I'll just say here from the college going to Hudson, your email as always, join the wait list. Okay? So that allows us to continue to look for a match for you and get you the ride you're looking for. If you have any questions at all, anything we can help you with, please drop us a line at rides at hudsonforward.org and we'll get right back to you.